G'day YouTube, this is just a bit of a look at a comparison between MX Linux on the left and the right, the main difference of which being that the one on the left is using a really lightweight uh, desktop environment called Fluxbox, whereas on the one on the right is actually still using a, a fairly lightweight uh, one called the XFCE desktop environment. Now, uh, probably I'll start from the top here, so since it's MX Linux version 21, they're all running on the same kernels on the back end there, basically got the same sort of software there, but the real difference comes into play when you look at the uh, the desktop environment itself. So uh, we can see with the Fluxbox, this is actually a bit of a more customized version, so it's a little bit more full featured than what you'll expect with a, uh, a stock Fluxbox desktop environment there. You can see we've got the, uh, the GUI on the left hand side, uh, in fact, I think it's called Giphy. This, uh, this basically, it's a it's a launcher there, not completely dissimilar to the launcher on the right, although it's certainly a bit more refined there. In fact, when I go to the Start menu on the left, it just brings up a uh, an application finder, somewhat reminiscent of the the name in of or the nomenclature of the uh, Apple. OS uh, desktops there. Whereas on the right hand side we get a, a fully featured start menu with a heads up display so we can uh, look for a game. Maybe there's a Tux Linux driving game here or there. There it is, Super Tux. But uh, yeah, a little bit more, uh, I guess, simplified there. And uh, let's see, so move that across. I do like what they've got going on here. So you've got your, your icons here on the screen, which is, isn't always been fantastically available on your traditional flux boxes. Uh, we can click on software and load up a few things to, in fact, download. Uh, let's see if I were to go to, say, a, um, let's see if we can search GIMP. There we go, GIMP and full. Oh, in fact, I installed GIMP before. Some basic version I have not seen before. But uh, look at that, loads up nice and easy. Oh, okay, I can see it's an older, simpler version. Uh, there we go. But uh, let's have a look at the, the file manager because I think I noticed this before and it really does impress me. So Fluxbox uh, is, well, this version of Fluxbox at least is running on the Thuna file system, which is really fantastic, really great to see, really fully featured, fully functioning. In fact, if you have a closer look, you'll notice that it's, it's exactly the same uh, as the one on the right, so the XFCE desktop uh, environment there. So you can do all the exact same things, move things across just like a normal desktop environment. Now, the uh, one of the main features of Fluxbox or XFCE or some of these desktop environments I talk about is uh, not exclusively uh, a feature, but uh, the fact that it uses a little bit res less RAM on boot up. So this is really uh, booted up from scratch. Nothing's really loaded in the background. We can see we're running at about 400 megabytes of RAM on boot up, which is great, fantastic. Really good for, for older laptops, PCs, things of that nature there. Whereas XFCE, as we can expect, a little bit more usage there. About 650 megabytes of RAM on boot up. I've allocated the exact same amount of uh, RAM for both of these, so you can see 4 gig of RAM uh, with the, the, the RAM contents filing system. It does look like a little bit less, but uh, yeah, still the 4 gigs there. A uh, few less threads, so having a look there. A couple more tasks somehow. Uh, dare I say more optimized, just the way that Fluxbox is set up to use less RAM there. Now, uh, let's see, if we have a little bit of a look at, uh, say, just click on the web browser. I, I don't want to get too much into software because you can install the same software on each, but uh, it does have Firefox installed as standard on Fluxbox, so if we have a look, it's probably version 95 or something, Firefox version 93, okay, so everybody sort of stopped caring about the versioning of web browsers after it went past version 12 or 13. It's just getting way too hard to care about these days. But um, yeah, exact same sort of stuff on the right hand side there too. So that's pretty much it guys. I just wanted to show you a really quick uh, sort of a, a, a basic look and feel of these ones here. Uh, it is, uh, we've got the context menu as well. I guess it doesn't hurt to say that. We can look at all the apps there. This is very flux boxy here. Uh, but uh, you know, browsers, appearance, settings, we can check the settings, all that there as well. Even got the display option, which is nice to see. But um, yeah, that's about it for the video. Thanks for watching guys. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button, and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one. Cheers.